Oh, hello. And see you there. Just reading the latest issue of Kaiju number eight. I'm Kevin from Post Quest, and I want to talk about the console war. Lately, there's been news of Xbox going third party. Some people are saying it's the new Sega of this generation. Uh, some people are celebrating it. You see others uh, no longer supporting Microsoft and Xbox and. Honestly, I don't really, I don't take part of the celebrating or any of that or, I don't know, I guess celebrating other people's failures, if you even want to call it that. I don't know. It's odd. Uh, you know, I used to be part of the console war, uh, arguing on socials about which console I thought was better, you know, which one had better games, right? Uh, better graphics, uh, you know so on and so forth the usual stuff you hear right you know you find any reason to think that someone is going to talk uh, talk bad about your console of choice that they might have hidden motives behind what they're saying and so you're ready to defend you're ready to defend your console of choice right you assume people had it out for your console right the console that you're a big fan of it's possible that they did have bad intentions or whatever, whatever it may be, if you're always ready to assume that and you're ready to be upset, then there's a problem. I remember back then I felt so annoyed and stressed all the time, uh, seeing people on my feed talking about my console choice. At the time, it was pro PlayStation, right? I wanted to defend PlayStation and then I was always, I always, I wanted to have a rebuttal so badly, you know? You know, people were always throwing around the names like Sony Pony, Xbot, Joy Boy, Joy Con Boy, is it? They still use Joy Con Boy? Nintendo Fanboy. You know, they throw around these names all the time. Uh, I think they're pathetic, to be completely honest. Outside of these realms, right, social media, these conversations don't get as heated or they may not even really happen the way they they do on social media twitter youtube whatever x whatever you want to call it has it happened that it's gotten to a level outside of social media where people are maybe a bit more inclined to physically fight over it it's possible but i reckon it's safe to say that everyone would be united in saying that it's it would be embarrassing if something like that happened we would say it's immature I'm sure we would all say these people should grow up, right? Go out, touch some grass, chill out. It just isn't worth the time and effort and energy, in my opinion. Time is limited, precious. I personally don't have time for these shenanigans. I don't understand how we let ourselves sometimes get so invested into the things that we don't enjoy. We seek out the things we don't enjoy. We like listening to things that we don't enjoy. You know, looking at things that we don't enjoy. People would rather do all that, talk about all the stuff that they don't enjoy, as opposed to spending time and seeking out the things that they actually do enjoy. It's, it's, I don't know why we do that to ourselves. Why? Why do we do it? Honestly, this kind of thinking can apply to anything, really. Any topic online, anywhere, anything. But. You keep on feeding your mind these negative things, right? Things that make you feel, uh, things that don't make you feel good, right? All these things, negative things, whatever you want to call it, whatever label. If you fill your mind with things that maybe anger you or depress you, make you feel sad, uh, things that irritate you, whatever it may be, well then guess what? That's all you'll think about. It's very simple. It's not hard to understand that concept, but we do it. We just do it to ourselves. I don't know. If you focus on the things that you like, the, in this case, the video games, the console that you like, focus on, and in general, more positive things, things that you actually enjoy. You can have conversations with people who enjoy the same things. You know, if you do that, well, I'm sure you'll feel much better. I'm not saying that you can't have disagreements with people, you know, they happen, but it's how we handle these moments 
is what matters. Even if someone doesn't agree with you, always be sure to be respectful. That's key. It doesn't have to result in, in name calling and being all nasty and rude about it. It's pointless. You aren't going to win anyone over by being rude and disrespectful to them. It just doesn't work. So Geo and I, we made this channel for that reason, to be positive. A safe haven, if you will. A safe haven for video games and people who enjoy video games. People who enjoy anime, manga, things that we enjoy. A place for escapism. A place for us to make videos about these things and share our experiences with you. You know, we, we play all kinds of games on here. It really doesn't matter. We're not a pro anything here. Listen, if there are games that you prefer to play on a specific console of your choice, or if your friends play on a specific console and that's what you play on because of that, that's awesome. It's all about preferences. It's funny because I primarily play on PlayStation, but not for all the big old PlayStation exclusives that come out, right? Like Spider-Man or Horizon, The Last of Us, Ratchet and Clank, Ghost of Tsushima. Believe it or not, I'm mostly interested into the more th third party stuff and the JRPGs that come out. They happen to come out on PlayStation. They come out on other things too, like Switch, but I mostly just play them on PlayStation. Um, I like getting the little trophies. I think they're kind of fun to get. Uh, my friends play on PlayStation, so we chat on there. So that's another reason why I play on there. I do have a Switch. Um, I don't get to play on it as much as I would like, uh, only because my free time is limited. Uh, I have a family, so the little bit of free time I have, I kind of have to pick and choose. And so for the most part, the games that I want to play when I have free time, it's on PlayStation. I did have a I did have a Series X at one point, but as life goes sometimes there are occasions where you have to let some things go. I play guitar and there have been times where I've had to let go of some instruments too just to help make ends meet. Uh, I didn't really get to play on the Series X as much as I would like, so I did have to choose that um, as something that I did have to let go unfortunately. Basically what I'm trying to say is that the console war is pointless. Sure, some consoles get exclusives, and that's great. It it differentiates the console from another. It gives us options to try out different things. But yeah, it is pointless. It's It comes across as children bickering, and they fight about things that really don't matter. You know, as you get older, you look back on some of these arguments that kids have, or when you have kids of your own, and you look at some of the things that they argue, and you're thinking, man, as a kid, that made such a big deal to me. It was, a, it was a big deal. But then you look at it from another perspective and you're thinking, this really isn't gonna matter at the end of the day. You know, I, th I think it's already bad enough that people will think that if you play video games, that that's really something that kids do, right? Video games are for kids. Let's not act like children either. Enjoy your games. Enjoy the games that make you feel excited and hyped. Who cares what others think? You're having fun playing these games, right? If not, maybe change some things on your end so that you are having fun with these games. I'm Kevin from Pope's Quest, and I'll see you on the next one.